De Havilland Hornet Moth was originally designed as a development of the Tiger Moth trainer. The new arrangement of enclosed cockpit and side-by-side -side seating afforded a much more comfortable flight. Golf Alpha Hotel Bravo Lima was built in 1936 and went immediately into military service. Floats were added and she spent the following years as a transport and liaison aircraft. The float attachment points are still visible today. Other innovations included a wing-mounted generator to charge the battery. Release these levers and the wings fold back. And these aerofoil attachments can be adjusted to add drag on final approach. After the war, she was transferred to the civilian market and survives today as part of the Shipping and Airlines historic collection. The walk around begins in the cockpit. Brakes are set full on. The mags are off. Full and free movement of the stick, ailerons and elevators. The drag brakes have full movement and are set in the off position. The trim has full movement. The fuel is on and sufficient. The wing release flap is locked. Ailerons have full movement and both wings are in good condition. All flying wires are tight and the generator is secure. The tyres are inflated and the undercarriage struts are in good condition. The landing wires and wing foldback lever is locked. The port side of the engine looks clean and free from leaks. The propeller is undamaged and secure. The engine starboard side is clean. The oil level is checked sufficient. A repeat on the starboard side, undercarriage, tyres and wings are checked. The pitot is uncovered. The tailplane is fixed. Full and free movement of the elevator and rudder. The tail wheel is in good condition. From here a check of the top wings is done. Everything OK, we can now go flying. First flight of the day, the engine is primed and swung by hand. Okay, hang on, brakes are on. Switches are off, throttle closed. Sucking in. Throttle set. Contact. When started, oil pressure is checked. Taxiing Bravo Lima can take some practice. Unlike other types like a chipmunk or messenger, the brakes only work when the rudder is pushed fully extended. It is not possible to have the brake set partially throughout the rudder input, and pulling the handbrake on more operates both sides simultaneously. So, if she starts to run away from you, the best thing to do is to centralise the rudder and pull on the brake, bringing her to a full stop, and then start taxiing again. The run-ups include RPM set, oil pressure good, mag drop within range, slow running. Trim is set, throttle is tight, mixture is rich, pitch is fixed and fine, fuel on, no fuel pump. Gauges are set, hatches and harness is secure and full and free movement. Lined up on the runway 03, the wind today 040 10 knots. 
The throttle is open gently, stick held firmly back to keep the tail wheel on the ground. At about 25 knots the tail is raised, now keeping straight with the rudder. Same takeoff from the other camera. Once at height, Bravo Lima is very pleasant to fly. As this is only my second solo flight, today's exercise is to explore turning and the use of rudder. Bravo Lima has a rudder bias lever that can be set for takeoff, landing, and cruise. And I am pleasantly surprised that this simple device means that in a turn it is only necessary to apply minimum rudder to keep in balance. Back at Biggin Hill on a left hand base for runway 03, the wind as before, 04010 knots. The exit for 03 is two thirds of the way along the runway, so I intend to land long and approach at 60 knots, never going below 55. On final, I adjust the trim to feel for its strength and effect. It is actually very sensitive and only small movements are required. The Hornet does have one idiosyncrasy and that is it is very difficult to do a wheeled landing. The rear of the aircraft is very heavy and coupled with the fuel being behind the pilot means that the elevator struggles to keep the tail up when landing and a fugoid type bounce can quickly develop. So all landings are three pointers. Bravo Lima does have a tailwheel lock that helps to keep straight in any crosswind. same landing from the other camera.
Once back at the hangar, brakes on, we check for oil pressure and mag drop before shutting down. Golf Alpha Hotel Bravo Lima, part of the Shipping and Airlines Historic Collection, 